Yeah, what? You know, man, um, he's fought some solid guys. Um, you know, I think, you know, I definitely had the experience factor on him. But, you know, he got 40 fights. So, you know, he's not a rookie. You know, he's a former world champion. And on top of that, he got Eric Morales in his corner. So he got he got a Hall of Fame Mexican champion that's giving him advice. And that goes a long way because I, I had I've had Bernard Hopkins who mentored me throughout my career. So I know how I know how important that is. So he definitely you know, I'm not I'm not taking Mungia lightly at all. I think compared to the last guy I fought, I think Mungia's a lot more experienced. So walk me through that process of yeah. What do you make of that fight? And, and, and just break Look, it man, that motherfucker would have knocked anybody out that night. Anybody. Anybody would have got hands that night. I just mentally prepared myself for that fight. I knew he was going to be strong. I knew that that left hook to the body was going to be vicious. You know what I'm saying? And this is why I took that knee. Like, I calculated it. You know, I never, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to jeopardize taking the L and sucking it up in the moment when he caught me with a good shot. And the thing is, it was the first round, so I wasn't even warm. And right when I tried to time him, he caught me with that great shot right on the liver, and I'm like, ah, shit. And I, I know that the round was gonna be over. So I said, man, let me take this knee, go back to my corner, regroup. This is a 12-round fight, we gonna be all right. And, um, but like I said, I think he'd have, I think he'd have stopped anybody that night. It was just a matter of me not taking, I wasn't gonna take no for an answer, I wasn't going home with an L. You know what, bro? Honestly, like Jacob's not even in my radar. I think, I think the fight was so one-sided. I boxed him. Right now, you don't even hear about Jacobs. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like. <laughs> you don't hear about him. He's not even relevant. I don't even. I don't even think no one cares about fighting Jacobs. I don't think you get no value in getting fighting Jacobs. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I, I haven't. I mean, you know, I don't really see anything. I think if it was a, if a rematch, it'd be easier. I'd knock him out in the rematch. No, no doubt about it. So you know, my thing is, I, I would like to, as the middleweight, I'm interested in, in Mungia, Charlo, or or Golovkin. In the, in the super middleweight division, I'm open for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously I carry the weight better at, at super middle, but I would love to, to run that back with G, with G. I would like to run it with Charlo or Munguia. It looks like Canelo's not getting planned. Would you be open to Canelo at 168? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I would, I would love, um, I would love to fight Canelo. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, Canelo's one of those guys that I admire because he's a student of the game. And um, I think the craft of boxing really doesn't get get appreciated as much, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, Canelo has definitely improved as a fighter, and I think a lot of people have noticed that I've improved as a fighter as well. So, you know, I think a fight between me and Canelo would be great. How good is he, man? Some people say he might be the greatest Mexican fighter at the moment that, that, that Mexican boxing has ever seen. Man, you got a lot of Mexican champions, bro. You got, you know, it's hard to. Do I think he's one of the uh, one of the best? I do, but you know, you got Chavez, you got Eric Morales, you got Barrera, you got Salvador Sanchez, bro. The list goes on when it comes to, to Mexican champions, man. So, you know, to, to to put him on the top of the of the mountain, I don't know, man. I think he got I think he got some more work to do, but he's definitely on his way. Man, I, you gotta admire, you gotta admire that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really think he needs to fight, but I think it's one of those fights where he just wants to challenge himself. It's like me, like I didn't have to fight back, but I took that kind of fight because I knew how dangerous he was. That I knew I had to be on my game. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you fight to the uh, to the level of your opponent, and I think Pacquiao needed something to get him going and get him up to bring the best out of him. And you know, I don't think no one knew he was going to blow out Thurman the way he did, right? So, who knows, man? Um, is is Spence the stronger guy? Is I, I believe he is. He's the more powerful guy. I believe he is. I think he's the stronger guy. Um, and he got you. He got youth on his side. But Pacquiao got that experience, and Pacquiao lives a healthy lifestyle, so that goes a long way. What do you make of those comments of Floyd Mayweather saying that Pacquiao has to? Fight? 
I mean, I just think it's talk. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just talk. But I don't think Pacquiao has to fight because Pacquiao, Pacquiao could have fought anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Pacquiao could fight Joe Schmo and make some M's. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, exactly, right? He could fight, yeah, he could fight one of the Paul brothers. <laughs> I, mean, but I think Pacquiao just does it because he's a, he's, a, he's a warrior. He's a warrior first. You know, Mayweather's a businessman. Pacquiao's a warrior. No disrespect to Mayweather. I'm a fan of Mayweather, so I don't want that to come off the wrong way. At this point in Mayweather's life, he's thinking more as a businessman. You know what I mean? Uh, Pacquiao still got that warrior attitude, so he's still rumbling, so he won real fights. Some you know I mean? say that uh, if he beats Earl Spence, that his career will be more meaningful than Mayweather's, even though Mayweather has a win over him. And return I fans, you know, Mayweather fans say that that's impossible because he beat Pacquiao, you know? How do you, you know what, man? You, you can't forget what Floyd did as far as when he was pretty boy Floyd. And, and then, you know, as money may, you know, I, for me, I put those guys right there, hand in hand. Like, I, I, I can't say Mayweather's better than Pacquiao or Pacquiao's better than Mayweather. It's two different routes. Like, Mayweather has done shit that no one has ever done in boxing, but at the same time, so has Pacquiao. Eight-time division world champion. Like, I don't, think I, I don't think that'll ever be done. So it's like, you know what I mean? You really can't, you really can't say this guy's better than this guy. I think it's just one, I think it's a, it's like, I think it's like, you know, like that Kobe, that Kobe Jordan conversation. We could do, we could run that all day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, well, what was the reaction you got from the boxing What's up, bro? Uh, after you won, I feel like a, a lot of people on Twitter and everywhere were just very happy for you getting that victory. No, man, because I think, I think, look, man, I think people could relate to me because it's like, I don't, I mean, I, I don't get the back end and I don't get none of that. And then, you know, the, the, the robberies and everything like that in the past. So I think it's just like that thing where like people are riding with me. They want to see me come up. It's, um, and you know, you know, uh, coming with this, with this big win, you know, it just gives people that, that feeling of like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It gives people like, it's inspirational, man. You know what I mean? It's like real life Rocky shit. <laughs> and I'm from Philly. Philly. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, it's real life shit, man. So it's like, you know. Rocky. Yeah, man. He got a draw. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> but you know, but you know, with me, man, this is like, I just, I, what keeps me motivated is just the drive to, to, to be the best I could be. You know what I'm saying? And try to reach greatness. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to get a world title. I'm not just doing this for a check. You know what I'm saying? If I was doing this for a check, I'd have slid down when he hit me with that body shot. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, oh, fuck this. I'm going to cash out. But nah, man, it's about, it about winning. Um, I think Plants a good fighter, but I think Canelo got the upper hand on him, just on the experience, the poise. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I don't think Plant got that punching power to keep Canelo honest. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I got Canelo, but look, I respect Plant. Comes from his background, his story. You know what I'm saying? I respect the man. I'm talking. You know, when I come, when I'm. When I'm saying what I think you win, it's not on my personal shit. It's just, you know, I just think I know as a fighter, it's just way more seasoned. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah.